Congratulations on becoming the owner of a Stuart Golf X9 Follow. Even though the word follow is used in the name, it is important to emphasize that the X series was designed first and foremost as a remote controlled machine. Three years of development has resulted in a completely new electronic system, which has improved the remote steering and added the fantastic follow functionality. When you're out on the golf course, you can choose to control the machine via the handle, the remote control, or the new follow feature. All of these methods are useful on the golf course, so you should not expect to be using the follow feature all of the time. Please watch this guide and read the manual in full before using your new machine. This machine is designed solely for the transportation of golf equipment on a golf course. Warnings and important safety instructions appearing in this manual are not meant to cover all possible conditions and situations that may occur. Common sense, caution and care must be exercised when operating or cleaning this equipment. Always contact Stuart Golf or your local distributor or dealer about problems or conditions that you do not understand. This warning symbol will be used from time to time in this guide. It indicates a potentially hazardous situation which, if not avoided, could result in serious injury or death. Before you use your battery for the first time, it's imperative that it is charged fully. Failure to do this could cause irreparable damage and result in reduced capacity. 1. Plug the charger into your main supply and switch on. 2. Connect the battery to the charger matching the blue and black connections. The LED on the charger will change colour depending on the phase of the charge. Green, the charger is connected to the main supply but the battery not connected. Red, battery is connected and charging. And green, battery fully charged and ready to be disconnected. The LED must show green, red, green for a charge cycle to have taken place. The charge cycle will take up to six hours. Once the charge is complete, disconnect the charger from the main supply and the battery. Please refer to the owner's manual for a full charging guide. Your X9 Follow has been supplied with a rechargeable Bluetooth handset. Before you charge, you must first select your power adapter and fit to the charger. 1. Remove the silicon handset skin and black charging plug. 2. Connect the charger to the main supply, then the charger to the handset. Now switch on the power supply. The indicator light will show red while charging and green when fully charged. Once it is green, disconnect the handset from the charger and the charger from the wall. The lithium battery inside the handset is large enough for two rounds of golf, but you should charge it after every round to ensure sufficient power. The charging process can take up to six hours. Before you play for the first time, ensure you practice in an open area away from other people or objects. This will allow you to familiarise yourself with the remote control and follow functions without risk of damage or injury. Always be aware of your surroundings. Ensure you know the whereabouts of other players, carts, trees, lakes, streams, bunkers or other objects. The X9 Follow has no external sensors to look for danger. When using the machine, it is your responsibility to choose the correct mode of operation and ensure that you, your golfing partners and your surroundings are kept safe. Please refer to the owner's manual for a full guide. When removing the X9 Follow from the car, only lift from the two lifting points. These are the stabiliser and under the front of the chassis. Lifting from other parts of the trolley cover could cause unintended damage that will not be covered under the warranty. To unfold the trolley, grip the handle and pull it towards you. The top and bottom clips will snap into place automatically. Hold the two S clips, apply slight outward pressure and lift. Insert the battery into the tray and secure with a strap. Connect the battery to the electronics box. Replace the front cover by aligning the two lugs at the rear of the cover with the corresponding gaps in the rear cover and pivot into place. Ensure the front of the cover is behind the small bump near the lower bag stay. Apply downward pressure to the S clips until the cover is secure. With the lower bungee out of the way and the top bungee only connected on one side, Place your golf bag on the lower bag stay and rest it against the main support. Using the handle in the middle of the bottom bungee, pull the cord over the base of the golf bag. Pull the loose side of the top bungee around the bag and attach it to the other side. Turn the on off switch to on and wait for the blue light to flash. Press the Bluetooth on off button on the handset to switch the handset on. When both blue lights are constantly illuminated, the Bluetooth connection is established and you're ready to play. The 
first thing to get used to is that there are three modes of operation. Follow is just one of the three and should not be used as a default setting. It is your responsibility to choose the correct mode for each situation. Please watch this guide for tips on how to make these decisions. Manual steering operation, good for car parks, bridges and paths. Before you do anything, make sure you know where the emergency stop button is. Press this button to bring the machine to an immediate stop. Once you're comfortable with the handset, in normal use you should use the glide stop button. This will cut power to the motors and bring the machine to a gentle stop. When in a car park, crossing a road or negotiating a tight path, you should steer the machine manually by the handle. You can control the speed of the machine with the handset clipped to the handle using the cradle provided, or just hold it in your other hand. The cradle can be attached to either side of the handle. Remote control operation. Good for around the greens and when you're in the rough. Not for car parks, bridges or small paths. To start your machine moving forward, press the forward button. Once the machine is in motion, continually pressing the speed up or slow down buttons will either speed up or slow down the machine. You can also use the cruise control buttons to start the machine. To steer the machine, press and release either the left or right buttons. When in motion, this will change the direction slightly and continue moving forwards. A prolonged press will tighten the turn. If you press either button with the unit stationary, the machine will turn on the spot. Hold the handset in your hand and position the X9 follow approximately 10 meters in front of you and on the line of your ball. Make small adjustments to the direction and speed as you see fit. Do not place the handset in your pocket. When you get to your ball, park the machine to the right of your ball or to the left if you're left-handed. Place the handset on the cradle when taking a shot. If you're going to walk any distance away from the machine, keep your handset with you so you can drive it to your next position rather than walking back. Follow operation. Good for open fairways with no hazards, obstacles or obstructions. Not for car parks, paths, bridges, around the greens, lakes, streams or any other obstacles. The open fairway is the perfect environment for the X9 follow mode. Press the follow button with the handset within 50 centimeters and directly in front of the machine. Then slowly walk away in the direction the machine is facing and the handset clip to your back pocket or belt. If you walk quickly away or at an angle, the X9 follow may not be able to react quickly enough and you could lose the connection. When you reach your ball and stop, the X9 follow will also stop. Put the handset on the cradle Select your club and take your shot. Replace your club, put the handset back on your back pocket or belt and resume walking. The X9 follow will pick up your pace. To turn the follow mode off, press either the emergency or glide stop buttons. Think of the follow feature like cruise control on a car. It's perfect for motorway driving, but no good for town or car park driving. The follow feature is designed for the fairway primarily remote and manual steering modes for other scenarios. It's up to you as the driver to select the correct mode for the circumstance. When you're inside the neutral zone, the X9 follow will apply the brakes. If you're walking down a steep slope and come to a sudden stop, the X9 follow may not be able to react quickly enough and could collide with you. Likewise, if the ground is damp, the X9 follow may skid. It's important that you'll always allow the X9 follow time to react to your movements and behaviour. For the best performance from the X9 follow, use a cart or tour bag filled to a maximum weight of 15 kilograms. Using a top heavy stand bag reduces the load on the front wheels, which means the steering may react faster than intended. To remove a wheel, tilt the machine holding the main support so that one wheel is off the floor. Hold the centre of the wheel and press the black button with your thumb. Now pull the wheel away from the trolley. The X9 Follow has a built-in freewheel setting, which allows you to complete your round even in the unlikely event of a fault. To engage this mode, tilt the machine so that one wheel is off the floor by holding the main support. Press down on the black button in the wheel centre and slide the wheel 25mm away from the motor, but still on the axle. Rotate the wheel 45 degrees and push it towards the motor until it stops, engaging the wheel on the outer ring of the axle. Release the black button and the wheel should now be locked onto the shaft but not engaged onto the drive dog. Your X9 follow has two preset cruise control speeds on buttons 1 and 2. Use these when you're using the remote control mode. 
You can also program these for your own walking speed as follows. 1. Use the speed up and slow down buttons to find your desired walking speed. 2. Press and hold either button 1 or 2 for 3 seconds. The machine will stop to show that the instruction has been received. You should now release the button and the machine will restart. The new speed is now stored. As the motors wear, your machine may develop a bias. If this happens, you can adjust the left or right trim as follows. Ensure that your machine is on a flat surface and that your golf bag is balanced. Hold down the lower left two buttons, number one and follow, for three seconds. The machine will start moving forwards. Use the left and right buttons to fine tune the direction until the machine is traveling in a straight line. Press stop to store the new setting. To get the X9 follow up a step or a curb, Firstly, exert downward pressure on the handle to lift the front wheels onto the higher level. If the natural traction of the rear wheels do not carry the rear of the machine onto the higher level, lift from the centre of the main support. Remove one side of the top bungee and lift your bag up and away from the machine. The bottom bungee will release automatically. Remove the front cover, disconnect and remove the battery and replace the front cover. Release both bottom clips simultaneously by pressing the clips with your thumbs. Slowly lower the main support until the top bag support comes to rest on the chassis. While supporting the handle, release the top clip and lower the handle until it comes to rest on the rear cover. Do not drop the handle or main support. Lift the X9 follow into your car using the lifting point specified. You should always disconnect the battery before transporting or storing the trolley. This will ensure that the trolley is not accidentally switched on in transit and will also ensure that you do not damage the battery. Never use any form of hose pipe or pressure washer to clean your X9 follow. Due to the high position of the electronics box, water cannot enter in normal use, therefore faults caused by water ingress will not be covered by your warranty. Clean your X9 follow using a soft cloth and standard furniture polish. You can also use a compressed airline to clear grass, leaves and dust etc.